So good morning. Um, I am laid up with a torn Achilles tendon. So what else is there to do but build golf courses and make videos? So uh, this is the first video in this series where I'm going to show you guys how to make texture sets, these MAHS texture sets, and what you need to use the OPCD MAHS, the Moss shader. Um, I'm not an expert at making these texture sets. I know enough to be dangerous. Most of what I've learned here have been uh, have been watching uh, DP Roberts videos. Uh, so I just thought I'd put them in video form and post them. So let's get going. So there are several steps involved. This video is going to cover Quixel Mixer. So if you aren't aware of what Quixel Mixer is, if you go to their website here, um, it is free. You can sign up. Well, let me put it this way. If you have an Epic Games account, you can sign up. Uh, use this for free. The textures are all free. The Epic Games account is free. So it's it's kind of a roundabout way of getting in here. But go to epicgames.com, sign up, get yourself an account. And then once you have that account, go back in here into Quixel Mixer. And you can use... Thought I had signed in already. Whoops, I'm signing with Epic Games. Never mind. So you sign in using your Epic Games account. That's good. And then once you're in here to the Quixel website, you can come up here. Um, you should be able to download somewhere. Here we go. Download Quick. Mixer right here. So you're going to download and install this. Then once you download and install that, you'll need to sign in again with your Epic Games account. And then you'll kick it up and it'll, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you on this page to kind of start a new project or start a new mix. I like to create a new project for each golf course. Um, for example, I've got Kapalua I created. I'm working on Hershey Country Club right now. Um, but like for the sake of what we're doing here, Let's just do, uh, I'm just gonna call this tutorial because this is a tutorial. Click add for a new project. And then I'm gonna say new mix. And what are we gonna make? Well, let me show you what we're gonna try to make here. So this is Hershey Country Club. And I have this area, this custom splined area here. You can see this thick tree. It's uh, gonna be probably a no as it lies area but I'm looking for more of a forest floor, okay? I don't want this to be grass. I want it to be like leafy, rocky, so it matches the rocks here and matches this grass a little bit. And I want lots of leaves because there's lots of trees here. So that's what we're going for. So I'm gonna come back in here to, uh, and I'm just gonna call this, let's just call it forest floor. And we're gonna do a 2048 resolution and I'm gonna click okay. Um, now, in here, we need to add some layers first. So we don't have anything yet. Now, you can go up here to online and you can just start browsing. There are thousands and thousands of textures and things in here. Um, so uh, for example, you could do a search for leaves. And if I search for leaves, you can see I got some lots of stuff in here. Uh, let's say, ooh, Nordic Forest Ground Pine Rocky. Let's take a look at this. I clicked on it. And that looks like it's a good start. Now, there aren't any leaves here, but I like the rocks. I like the moss. There's a little bit of green. So I'm going to click download. And that's going to download. And it'll go into my local library. You can see that's downloading here. But let's keep on looking for something like with leaves in it. Um, actually, I think I have one downloaded already because I was looking at this earlier. But here's a good one. So dry fallen leaves. All right, we could take a look at that one. I'm going to actually use, that looks pretty good. Good, let's just download that one as well. So once those are downloaded, they'll end up in our local library over here. But let's, let's go up here to layers and you can see there's nothing in our layers because if we go to our viewport, this is blank. So let me go to my local library. So here's my Nordic pine, our forest floor. I'm gonna drop that in there. And hopefully that's working, it's not locked up. It's loading, I got a lot of stuff running right now. All right, so there's our Nordic floor, and you can see it looks pretty cool. Go back to my library. Here's my fallen leaves. Let me drop this in here. And you can see what it does. It's going to combine these two together. Boom. 
<laughs> and what you can do now, I'm not, this isn't going to be a, a, a tutorial on this tool. There are tons of videos on YouTube on how to use Quixel, Quixel Mixer, but you can just play with these settings in here. For example, I can change the height so I get more leaves or less leaves. You do have to be careful about when you make these about tiling. And tiling means that when I start putting these things side by side, um, you start to see a pattern inside of the game. This isn't going to be a problem because this is going to be under trees and it's going to be hidden by grasses and those things. But when you're making something potentially like a new fairway or a new rough, you got to be really careful about that, about that tiling. Okay. So this looks good enough to me. Actually, this looks great. I might end up using this in the game. That's pretty cool. Uh, so next thing we're going to do is we need to get this out of here and into our game to be used by the MAHS shader. So we're going to go over here and click on export. Now, you have to be very, um, got to pay attention to what's going on over here, okay? So in this screen, we have to come here and we're going to make sure we're on Metal Miss Maps and Advanced Texture Setup. And under here, we got to change a few things in order to match. If you did the theory on MAHS, you understand that we have to do MAHS, which is um, Metal Miss, We've got AO, height, normal, rough. So we're going to keep our albedo because we need that. That's like the base coloring. We can get rid of gloss. We're going to keep roughness. We're going to keep the normal, okay, because we're going to need that normal map inside of Unity as well. Our displacement is our height. So let's just rename that to height. We're going to keep our AO. We're going to keep our metalness. We're going to get rid of opacity. And we're going to get rid of omission. Now we do have to map this and we have to do an additional one. And we're going to call this our M A H S. And we're going to keep this as a PNG, but we're going to make an RBGA for channels. Remember, we're packing these into a channel. And we're going to keep it 8 bit. And down here, we're going to change our RGBA channels. We're going to make, remember, what MOS stands for? Metalness. Ambient for A. Where is it? There it is. Displacement for height. Remember, we named it up there. And then our last is roughness in the A channel. Where is roughness? Is it down here? There we go. So that's all good. Texture maps are good. And we're going to, I don't think there's a save in here. I think it just saves automatically. So let's X this out. Yes, so that looks really good. Now what we need to do is we need to export this into game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to our export location and we're gonna go to our directory for our game. So in this case, here is my, now let me go to my OPC projects and show you guys this. So I'm working on my Hershey Country Club. So here's my Hershey Country Club folder. And then in here, this is my Unity folder. This contains all my Unity project fires, you know, the base folder. I'm going to go in there. And then here's all the assets that are showing up in my project in the game itself. And when am I, when I referred to it earlier as my prop store, I'm going to go to assets, go down here to resources. Where's resource? There we go. And OPCD MOS resources and then extra materials. You can see I was playing with this earlier, but I'm going to call, I'm going to say that's my folder and I'm going to create a folder. Now I already have a forest floor floater in there because I was playing with this earlier. So I'm going to call this forest floor two. And then I got this, this, I'm going to say export the, oops, make sure we're going to do 2048 here and I'm going to do export to disk. So when I do that, you're going to see some magic happen down here in the corner and it's going to put in that Unity folder. I'm going to go up here into Unity. It's going to update. Give it a second. I'm going to go to my now. Remember, this is our Unity directory here, the assets that we just placed this in. So I'm going to come down here into my resources folder. Remember, my OPCD MOS and my extra materials. And there's my forest floor two. And then I have everything in here. We're not quite done yet. We got a little bit more to go, but we are done with Quixel Megapixel. 
So that at least shows you how to basically build something in there and then export it and get it into game.